Hey everyone, my name is Hayden and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're gonna be building a command line utility tool to optimize and streamline your life. So in this video series, we are going to be building a command line utility tool to uh, optimize, organize, and streamline your workflow on your PC. I've wanted to build something like this for a while because I have a lot of kind of disconnected Python scripts and other kind of utility scripts that I have around my PC that I run for various things, and I want to bring them into kind of one complete package. So in short, we're going to be building a CLI tool that will kind of be a foundation for lots of repetitive tasks that we can automate. So we can start writing things on the command line like um, check the weather or Amazon this or Google that or you know turn off the bedroom lights things like this so we can start building a foundation that we can build upon and add more and more utility scripts on top of help us automate and speed up our workflow on our computers the goal of this project is to bring everything into one place and have a centralized location for all these utility scripts that I can access at any time so I decided to build this using a CLI tool if you're not familiar with what a CLI tool is or stands for it stands for a command line interface tool which is basically a command prompt on Windows or terminal on Mac where you can start typing commands in and it's basically a way of interacting with the computer without a kind of a user interface. As a developer I use CLI tools quite frequently um, and I've never really built one myself and I've always wanted to so this is kind of a, a good way for me to learn and document the process at the same time. So I'm going to call my command line tool Eve, A because it sounds quite cool and mystical but B because it's kind of super quick to type on a keyboard. We're going to be building the tool in Python and we're going to be using a package called Click which allows you to um, create very very powerful and useful command line tools and we'll go through more about that when we're kind of doing the coding section uh, but kind of in short what you can expect will be we'll build a tool that you can type for example like eve uh, space weather and that will tell us the weather in some location or you know if, that, if people like this series you know I'll, I'll start to build out eve bigger and bigger and bigger and more and more apis and you know hopefully it'll be really interesting to see where the project goes so now let's jump over to vs code uh, where we'll start the coding section for this so as you can see here, I've got an empty VS Code project called Eve, um, and we're going to use this to build out from. So first things first, we are going to need a requirements.txt file, um, and like I said, we're going to be using the Click package, and as of recording, the current latest version is Click 7.1.2. So basically what happens here, well, what we want is to have the ability to say Eve, uh, you know, get me the weather or Eve, uh, Amazon me this or Eve, you know, uh, turn off the lights in my room. So all these kind of commands will just point to different functions in Python and they'll run and they'll hopefully do, you know, whatever we want to do. So for example, you know, if we want to do podcasts, uh, there'll be a podcast function that it will uh, point to. But obviously, as you can see at the minute, there is nothing called Eve. Uh, the Eve distribution was not found on my computer. So what we need to do is use a package called uh, pip uh, that will install it onto our computer. Um, but what first thing I want to do is just make myself a virtual uh, environment so that we can um, keep everything contained I just like to do it this way uh, so once you've made your virtual environment you can just jump into it and uh, activate it uh, there we go and we now have it activated so I don't want to explicitly install pip myself uh, or sorry I don't want it because obviously we've got this requirements.txt file and we need the click package but what we can actually do is uh, make what's known as a setup uh, setup file which um, uses which is what pip uses to build packages out so in a setup file you basically need to tell pip how to install your package what requirements to gather and kind of all the things that basically in order to bundle this kind of executable up um, so what we can do is say from uh, setup tools import setup and find oh no find packages uh, and then we can use the setup function in order to uh, build our eve package so let's call the name of our package eve uh, this is version uh, 0 0.1 uh, we need to tell uh, pip where to find our package and by default i believe it looks for a folder in your directory that is the same name as the name you put here so let's make that now so let's make a new folder called eve uh, and I just want you to put inside that folder for now um, an init.py file just to make it a legitimate Python package. So next thing we need to say is say include package data true. Uh, this basically just bundles up all the requirements when you do the pip install rather than to have to install them yourself. 
Uh, and we also just need to say install requires. Um, we just need to say what requirements does this install require. So uh, I do this by making a function called read requirements rather than duplicating the requirements. And basically, so this needs a list of strings, a Python list of strings in order to work. Um, but I hate of, of all the requirements we need, but I hate duplicating the requirements. So what I do is um, make a function like this, which basically reads the requirements in off the fly. So you only need to change it in that one place. Um, and you don't need to kind of exp like put it twice. This all. So this is basically just going to read in our requirements.txt file. Um, so we'll read in our requirements.txt file as a string, uh, and then we'll split it on a new line, and then return us a list of strings, um, which will go here. So that basically means we only need to change it in our requirements.txt file, and it will get picked up every time. So the last thing we need to do is tell pip when it installs our uh, package where the entry point to the package is so like where the initial part of um, part of code it needs to look at is so in order to do this uh, because it's a console um, uh, or CLI tool we just need to say console scripts and all we need to say is basically say when you see the command eve I want you to look into the eve package and uh, there'll be a file called CLI so let's make that now so we'll go up to the eve package uh, let's make a cli.py file, just an empty file for the minute. So go into the eve package, look for a cli.py file and look for a function in that file called cli. Uh, and that'll be the entry point to our um, eve command line tool. Cool. Uh, so that is all you need to know. Uh, reading in the requirements. So we've got a package called eve, version 0 0.1. Find the package in you know the eve directory. Include all the requirements bundled up. These are the requirements and this is the entry point. Perfect. So what we can do now is jump over to the Eve actual package and start building out this CLI function. So let's do that now. So go into Eve and CLI.py, jump into here. And like I said, we're going to need click uh, in order to do this. Like it said in that, um, like it said in the uh, setup py file, we need a function inside this file called uh, CLI, which is the entry point. Um, and for now, I'm just going to print hello world, but uh, click offers us a nice um, a nice uh, method called um, echo, which um, basically handles all kind of like Unicode escaping characters and stuff like this um, when uh, when you run it on the command line. Um, but that's not all we need to do. We also need to basically tell uh, click that this is a click command uh, with the click dot command decorator. So just like that. So that's all you need in that file. So that's pretty much it once you're there. Once you've uh, installed, well, got a requirements file called that, copied the setup PYL to look like this, uh, so it looks for the packages and installs them correctly. Um, so once we're here, we can now say, so make sure that you're inside, uh, not inside this directory that Eve we created, but actually inside your project directory. And um, we can just say pip install and if we say dot it means here so pip install into it this package here it will look for setup py in its current directory and you can see that because if I go um, ol you can see that we've got a setup py in our current um, directory so if I say pip install here and I just want to add a little flag in front of this called editable which basically means um, every time I'd have to make a code change here I'd have to reinstall the package for it to pick it up but if I put editable as the flag it will pick up those code changes um, without me having to reinstall so now I can do pip install this and you can see it's looking in there, it's installing the click version and uh, successfully installed click and it's installed the Eve package. So now you can see if I come here and type Eve, oh, uh, made a little typo there, so it's click command. Um, and yeah, you can see if I type Eve again, now I fix that package and because we've got the editable flag on, uh, you can see it picked up my code change straight away. So for example, yeah, again, I could change this to, you know, hello. Hayden and then run run that and you can see it's now changing to hello Hayden um, so what we'll do in the next couple of videos is build these out to have more and more complex ones so for example we'll have like a click uh, we'll have a click command you know that's like uh, weather and that will return us the weather or have one for Amazon or Google to Amazon or Google something um, you know we'll basically just build this out and 
it's a nice way to kind of bring together all the code into one place that we can just now all access through this eve command or whatever you want to call yours obviously so there we have it we basically build the foundation of the eve command line tool there in the next video i'll be building it out more to add a command called eve weather so it will use a weather api in order for you to get the weather at your current location and we'll expand on this more and more to add more you know helpful and useful commands that we need to do to kind of like automate and streamline our life hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, there's other tutorials on my page so be sure to check out those playlists and if you could take a moment out of your day to like this video and subscribe i'd also really appreciate that thank you very much for watching and have a great day Thank you.